We gave up candy. And we gave it up. Everybody else picked it up and started using it. Now we don't have any groceries. And we the ones who are hungry. That does not make sense. Uh, you got to understand, what I'm talking about is, maybe 20 years later, you want some berries, you go down and go in the, in the uh, um, pantry and blow the dust off, take them out of the bottle and start eating. No problem whatsoever. Because it's been sealed and you can do that. I watch my elders in the South do it. So we certainly have the skills, but we got sophisticated Ed Brown. I mean, we ain't keeping no old stuff stored like that. No, we're going to eat Welch's jelly. Well, where do you think Welch's gets it from? How do you think you keep it in that jar six months before you buy it? But we ain't going to talk about that because you, know, you think it's fresh, so it's cool. Um, the point is, though, we must now actually reclaim a lot of what we gave up. And in doing that, we're also going to teach our youngsters. Now, something that makes Cy just go all crazy, and I like this concept too, is our favorite of and the five of us, it's one of the few things we all agree on. On Saturdays, coming up soon, and again, we'll spend a month and a week or two designing the particulars, we will have Saturday Academy. Saturday Academy will consist of four hours. Those four hours, the first hour will be homework alley hour. Homework alley is very simple. Young men will come in, because we're starting with a class of young men. They'll come in and they'll bring their homework. We will have instructors here to look it over and give them a hand. Now, don't panic. You may say, well, ain't that cheating? No, the rabbi has been doing it for little Jewish boys since time began. Ain't nobody ever said a word. It's just we don't do it. But homework alley is just that. It gives them a chance to talk to us about their homework and know it's right before they even take it to school. Is there anything wrong with it? Absolutely not. And there's no rule against it. We just don't do it. Boy, you got to get it by yourself. No, you don't have to get it by yourself. There are enough of us that have it that we don't have to do that. After that, they'll have training in everything from manners to etiquette to pull your pants up and stop showing your bloomers because you look kind of ridiculous. And we won't hesitate. We're not going to pull punches in those classes. Bringing in the devil, bringing in goose, guys who have gone through some tough times, know what rough lot knocks are like, to tell them what they're like, to give them an idea of what they're going to avoid. And if they choose not to avoid it then, at least we will know that they don't know. The last hour will be left for the martial arts, and we're going to hopefully find an instructor who teaches the philosophical side as well as the practical side. I don't want to have to do it because I'm busy, but I want it taught right. Learning physical just makes you a bully. Learning the philosophy as well as the practical side makes you an outstanding individual who will tackle challenges. That's what we're looking for. So those are just some of the upcoming events we have. It's an exciting time getting you here tonight. Cy gave me a number. Cy said if one person showed up, he called it a success. If two people showed up, it was a massive success. If you got four people, it was a grand slam. Ladies and gentlemen, give us your hand. You made size nice in every sense of the word. Thank you. Now